What's up gamers? Today we are going to do the lucky strike draw. This is the second lucky draw the developers have implemented into this game. The system they used last time wasn't all that great, but at least you received some operational supplies you could use in-game. Although I will not be going into it, it's worth noting that there has been a lot of speculation within the community about the direction this game is heading cosmetically based on leaks, rumors and cosmetics found inside the Season 2 test server. Some bad, some good. Whether you agree or disagree, let's get right into this and see what they are offering this time around. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos which will be much higher quality in the future. I've already pulled two items with some leftover bonds I had. The 60 round mag sticker for the AK platform and the chat bubble. These were pretty cheap, but we know it will get much more expensive. The operator certificate frame should be a permanent item. It's not enough of an incentive for players to make another draw. No one is going to want to spend money on an extra draw because they want to be able to use that frame again when it expires. This was a mistake, in my opinion. This P90 skin is the very first camo in this game. I wish it were for a different gun but this is still pretty decent. This is a pretty basic camo when compared to the patchwork look of the P90. However, we can also use this magazine skin with an AR. This is also the first weapon charm we've gotten so far, so I was happy to be able to have this. Now it starts getting expensive. We have the two knives left, I wonder what we will get. In order to pull the last knife, I need to top up another $25 worth of bonds, bringing my total spent on this draw up to almost 150 US dollars. Neither one of these knives are good skins in my opinion and surely aren't worth getting to me. No thank you. Let's go to the firing range and take a look at these items. This ornament is also my clan avatar, I'm sure they will release the rest as charms in the future as well. Although there is nothing special about this knife, the animations are way better than the M9 Saber. The P90 looks much better in game. It is a bright skin and will stick out a bit. I wouldn't say it's terrible by any means and will use it in the future. If you want to see my gunsmith and full gameplay with the new P90, let me know in the comments. And, if you enjoyed wasting your time as much as I did my money, hit the like button on the way out. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you won't miss any of my new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.